Hello. In this video, I'll be going over the total cost of my clock collection. This is the Ingram Tambor style uh, mantle clock from the late 20s. This was 250 and that includes the cost to purchase and get it professionally repaired. I think that's a good price for a professional repair and to buy it. I think that's, that's a pretty good price. This is the Gustav Becker wall clock. This was made in the 1890s and I bought this at a flea market for $39. That's really cheap for a very well-known brand, Gustav Becker. This is the Waterbury Chime Clock number 400. This one was a eBay clock and I bought it for $70 and that does include the shipping cost. So on all the eBay clocks I will include shipping and the total cost. This one is from the late 20s. I, I got a pretty good price for it. The case was not as this shiny when I bought it. I had to fix that. And then it runs but it needs cleaning. See this is a Sessions mantle clock from about 1920. This one I bought at an antique mall for $25. That's a very good price. It ran when I bought it as well, but it doesn't run anymore. Okay, moving along. This is the Owari Clock Company. It's a time and stripe clock from the 1890s. This is one of, uh, of Owari's earlier clocks they made. This one was $60 and I got it from an antique store uh, nearby where I live. Here is the case for the Hamburg American Clock Company wall clock. It's from the somewhere between the 1880s and 1910 so the date is unknown and I paid $80 for it. Uh, I, it's a good price I think because I've never seen a clock quite like this one. It's got a very nice case and I, it's really one of my favorites. This is a Malv, uh, just your standard mantle clock from Malv Clock Company. It's from the 1950s, 1951 I think. I bought this back in 2016 for $40. And I think total shipping was somewhere around $55. Next up is this nice Bradley uh, alarm clock. It's from the 50s. It's been around. It was made in West Germany. I bought this at an antique mall. The same mall that I got this one from. I bought this one for $35. This is a Gabriel alarm clock. 1940s. This one was a gift so it'll be zero dollars total. This here is a unmarked mouth clock. It's actually made by mouth but there's just no markings on the dial. This one is from the 60s and the total on this one was $59.39 including shipping. This here was a <clears throat> this was a clock I don't know where the case went but total was $3.23 from Goodwill. These two are both zero dollars. They were free. This dome-shaped clock is a rhythm music box alarm clock. And this was thirty dollars and I bought this in June of 2016. Okay, this session's beehive clock. This was forty dollars on eBay, including shipping probably around fifty-five dollars. It still works to this day. This quartz regulator clock was $25 from an antique store. The Anko 31 day wall clock made in Korea is from the 1970s. It was free. 
So the total is zero dollars for this one. This is my homemade clock. You may remember this one from about four years ago. It still runs, still works. I don't have it set to the time. But I don't really remember how much it cost to, to uh, build. But I can say it was probably around $15. This is a Kinzel clock from the 30s, late 30s, early 40s. This was $30, but with shipping, it was probably closer to $45. So I'm going to put $45 down. That may not be the exact price, but it's probably within a dollar or two of the actual price I bought it for. The Sessions Berkeley model, currently not working, by the way, is $35. I got this at the same antique mall that I purchased this Sessions and the Bradley alarm clock back there. So I got this for $35. Not bad. Uh, of course the case was messed up down here, but you can see I've fixed that up over the years. Okay, this one here was free, so total is zero dollars. This is a Howard Miller Topaz model, and the total for this one was $24.92. I bought this clock at Goodwill. And the grand total for my entire clock collection is $906.54. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. If you want to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.